Hello YouTube, this is a complete tutorial on flashing star A2000 Chinese phone. Things you need to flash this phone a um, flashing cable. You can get it from eBay for $15. And software, which is a flashing software, it will be linked in the description. And writing IMEI tool software will be linked as well in the description and the uh, original firmware for this phone all will be linked in the description so let's get started now loading required files from the description we need to extract it and then open it we need to go to MTK USB driver open that for Windows XP they shouldn't have problem just install it for Windows 7 you need to right click and then go properties and then compatibility and then just select run this program in compatibility mode for Windows XP Service Pack 3 hit apply ok and then just install the driver you should get this install USB driver for Windows XP successfully just hit exit go back you need to install the flashing USB driver just install that and then restart your computer once you have restarted your computer just open the flashing tool program which is called SP flashing tool and just hit the flashing tool the blue icon okay now we need to go option first one browse rate just it's already selected if it's not 921600 just select 921600 and in comport all right now you need to connect the fat flashing cable to the computer once you connected it click on option again you will get another comport I got COM3 you might be different COM4 or 6 or whatever just select that but don't select COM1 just select whatever COM available other than 1 ok now COM port 3 selected and it should say here COM3 the brad rate it's nine two one six double zero now just connect that uh, flash cable to the phone the phone has to be off hit format and it should be selected manual format and flash just leave it as it is click OK press the power button on the phone till you see the red indicator here Look, let's start formatting just waiting for this to finish all good okay close that and now scatter loading we need to click on that second one no download agent just a scatter loading we go desktop folder 
that we have extracted it open it we go to star a2000 Rome click on that click again and select MT6516 Android and now you should get all the required files for flashing selected there you can see just zoom it all right now we need to remove the battery from the phone and put it back in again here is the tricky part now uh, sorry um, we need to remove the battery don't put it back in I've done a mistake sorry just remove the battery and then click on download now we need to put the battery back in as I said there is a tricky part on this because the flashing cable got two connectors you know one of them for the flashing and the other one for standard USB so we need to swap them not now swap them after the the purple indicator finished the second one not the red one now when I press the power button on the phone it will um, it will continue you will see the red indicator and that's gonna like load 100% and finish and then purple indicator after that it will load and finish and then you will see here says connect USB cable you got five seconds you need to swap them over I mean you need to remove the fat one and plug the standard USB when it says connect I'll show you yeah I'm just gonna hit the just press the start uh, sorry the press the power button on the phone and now it's downloading have to be quick okay this is finished and this one finished look inset in five seconds here look if you don't do this the one download will fail now the real download will start download means installing the firmware into the phone just waiting for this to finish Sorry guys, we nearly day. Okay, now it says it's all downloaded, so it's all good. Now after after doing this, you will see the battery indicator on the phone, that the, on the screen. That's me flashing. It's successful. You can power up just the phone, power on the phone, and it will be working fine. But you cannot make calls yet. You need to write the IME 
um, to the phone with uh, a special software I'm going to show you after so this is all done we're going to close that okay now write the IMEI back to the phone so we can use phone calls um, on the phone so we just go back to the folder MTK6516 double click on that and then need to click on SN write tool okay we need to open SN write now leave everything as it is check some dual IMEI meter mode we need just to change the modem database and AP database so the first one you just click on modem database then you go back to the desktop and then we select the folder MTK6516 and then we go to star A2000 ROM click on that click again and then we select the fourth one which is BPLGUI info custom application right select that so select it and then we go to the AP database click on that All right it's already selected the star 82000 ROM and we select the first one which is AP DB MT6516 S001 they look the same so it doesn't matter you select first one or second one sorry okay you see now it's all good so now we need to close that now you need to disconnect the phone from the computer take out the battery disconnect the phone from the computer take off the battery wait for 10 seconds with battery removed and now connect the flashing cable to the computer without the battery once you've done that open the SN right and go to the COM port and select the COM port that you used for flashing with the SP flashing tool I go 3 so select that don't select the USB VCOM or COM1 just select the one you used before ok now hit start so you get IMEI scanner first IMEI just just look in the back of the phone you should see IMEI it's a dual IMEI so just put the first one which is I'll put mine V5 and now we need to put the second one second IMEI so I'm just going to copy that because just the last two digits is different so don't need to write it again ok after after you've done that you need to click OK and then put the battery back in press the power button on the phone 
and white. Pretty much you have to wait between 30 seconds to 40 seconds. The phone will just boot normally. But you can see the progress here. It's moving. Look. That's what it says here. Okay, check IMEI. This is the number. Right IMEI successfully. This is one and two. Alright. Go back a little bit. Now you can see right IMEI successfully. This is one, number one, and this is two. This is the seven three. This is 8.1, this is IMEI 2, both has been written successfully to the phone, but we have to wait for the progress to finish. Okay, now it's all done. You don't have to worry about uh, this message again, just click cancel. that's pretty much it close that close everything disconnect your phone from the computer and place any sim card on the phone start the phone normally and you should see whatever network you are with you will just see it there I hope I helped you out guys and sorry for my English because English is second language but I'm trying to help you Thank you very much for watching this video and have a nice day. Thank you. Bye.